I got a skin treatment two days ago and it's making me break out on my chin a little bit which is fine because it's supposed to do that basically the skincare treatment I got there's some pimples and stuff that are kind of under the skin here on my chin and the skincare treatment I got is like needles that go into your skin and then it kind of draws it out so I'm breaking out a lot on my chin but it's supposed to happen because that's how the treatment works so that's good but I wanted to do some skincare because I don't feel good today I feel really horrible and <laughs> I I'm super sore and then on top of being sore I'm breaking out and I just was like I'm gonna do some skincare today also I didn't sleep very good either <laughs> so that probably didn't help I'm curious about the salmon DNA do I see any results actually um, yes, and it's probably one of my favorite treatments because as you guys know, I suffer from Actually, my acne is not that bad anymore. I mostly suffer now from like the scarring from previous acne Also, I took Accutane and Accutane from what I've read it thins your skin and makes you more prone to getting wrinkles and stuff in the future So, uh, that's not good. <laughs> that sucks <laughs> uh, Ooh, acne scars I did a procedure called CO2 laser and subcision for acne scarring. Oh my gosh, I've had so many subcisions. I think I've had a total of 10 subcisions. I've also had CO2 uh, laser. Uh, I've also had CO2 resurfacing lasers. I think my skin, because I've had probably like a total of maybe 30. I probably had like 30 laser treatments in total. I think the CO2 helped my skin the most out of every treatment I've had. But then it's hard to say because subcision helps a lot. I had another treatment called X-Car. So it's like X-Car. And um, the X-Car treatment is kind of like subcision, but it's also microneedling. So how it works is like it's a treatment where there's like needles and the needles go into your skin. And at the end, it shoots carbon dioxide underneath the surface of your skin and it separates like the scar tissue so first my dermatologist in korea she would do all of them at the same time so these are the treatments i would get so first treatment i would get is subcision for people who are a little sensitive you might not want to hear about subcision because it's really creepy but basically what subcision is is if this is your skin and you have deep pitted acne scars so like a scar kind of like like mine i had like the crater scars the doctor will take a needle and put it under your skin and they cut the scar tissue from underneath so basically they take a needle and they just scrape all of the scar tissue up and they break up that scar tissue and then the x car they would go in and they would uh the needles would go into your skin and it would shoot carbon dioxide to help separate it so now after you've had subcision so they went in they cut the scar tissue because basically the scars like this it's like pitted right and there's a little bit of strand that goes down that's gonna like they cut that strand and it kind of helps your scar kind of level out a little bit but then they go in and they like shoot the carbon dioxide underneath which is gonna like plump your skin up and then after they plump your skin up uh, they would go in and laser my face off. They just laser that bad boy off. I've had so many laser treatments. Lasers hurt so, so bad. At least the, the lasers I was getting. She was putting it on a really, really high setting because she was saying that basically it can damage the pigmentation of your skin. But because I'm really pale, she could put it up to the highest setting and it won't cause any damage to my to the pigmentation of my skin. It really hurts a lot. They will put like a numbing cream on your face. It's definitely better to have numbing cream on your face than without. I've had both. I definitely think that the numbing cream helps a little bit, but when not by really not by much. You still feel the pain. I think the pain mixed with the smell of burning hair together it just really doesn't it really, it really sucks you kind of get a little numb to it so what my doctor would do is she would do kind of like a like a lower setting sometimes and then do a second swipe with a higher setting how long did it take for the redness to go away after the co2 recovery my dermatologist she would switch up treatments so she would do co2 
And the next treatment she would do would be like a whitening treatment to get rid of the redness. But she would swap it up because she said that if you do a lot of CO2 in a row without doing like the whitening treatment, uh, it's like a laser, it's a, it's a laser treatment, but it whitens your skin instead of making it red. So she would do like CO2 and then like a week after I'd come in and she'd do the whitening one. And then she would do CO2 and I would do CO2 every single month. Literally every single month I would see my dermatologist actually twice a month. So I would first see her for the laser treatment. And then I'd come in a few few weeks to, or a few days to a week later to get the other treatment. So it's weird because when I was getting the laser treatment in America, I only had it once because I could only afford it once because it's so expensive in the USA. It was $1,000 for one treatment in the States. It was so expensive. Um, and I saved up all my money for it. Yeah, it's so expensive in the USA. In Korea, it is so much cheaper. What I like about Korea that I haven't seen in the States, but I don't know because I've only been to one dermatologist in the States. But in Korea, I like that they stack treatments. So in Korea, I literally, I don't go in and only get just CO2 lasering surface. First, like I said, first, like in the same day. In the same day, they will do subcision. They'll do the subcision first, and then they do the x car and then they might inject me with the salmon DNA, and then they will do the laser. So like all in one day, I get th like four to three things done in just one day. I think it helps a lot because the salmon DNA is supposed to help with collagen, and then like, yeah. Your dermatologist did subcision, su subcision and CO2 in the same day? Yeah, I think it helps a lot. What I've also been learning is that it'll take multiple procedures to minimize the acne scars, so I have to trust the process. Yes. Yes, that is absolutely true. Hold on. I will show you some of my process or some of my progress. If you're currently doing this, what I would suggest is what I also did. I would be really bloody after some of these procedures. This right here, these things, these I think they're called scar patches or something like that. I don't know. But anytime she would do the laser treatment, she would stick it to my face after and it was the best because she would tell me after I after I get the laser scar treatment uh, there is one thing that happens that you might also notice is after you get the, the laser scar treatment you kind of swell up a little bit and when you swell up your skin actually looks way better when you're swollen than it actually is like it feels like the results look better if that makes sense and then a week will go by and then the swelling goes down and then you see your acne scars and you're like no what happened i feel so horrible it sucks it's like a psychological process to go through with acne scars too when you're swollen your skin looks so good and then like and then once the swelling goes down you feel so ugly or I feel ugly. <laughs> but basically, these stickers, I don't have, I think I have a picture somewhere, but she would give me a sticker that would cover my whole face, and then she would tell me not to take it off until like three days. So she, after the laser treatment, she would stick the whole thing, like she would cover all of it like this, and then she would just be like, don't take it off for three days because the swelling will go down by three days, and then you can't see any results. And then when you take it off in three days, you actually kind of see more realistic results from the procedure. And it, it really helped me a lot because I told her that. I told her how when I feel swollen, my results look way better. And then I get like sad and disappointed after a few days when my swelling goes down. And so that's what she would do. She was like putting these stickers on my face and then I would take them off after three days. And then my, you see like the actual real results and it's really awesome. Let me go back to here. So this is how bad my acne, wait, this wasn't actually the worst of my acne, but this is when it was pretty bad. And then these are some of my results. So right here, it's this cheek, by the way. <laughs> I took, I zoomed in. I have a picture of my whole face and people are like, why don't you post your whole face? But I look really ugly in that photo, so I cropped it so you only see my cheek. But you can see, like, on this side, like, how deep my scars were. And then on this side, this is a year and how much better they got. Let me see. I think I wrote it down. Photos of before and after a few treatments. Oh, it was only a few treatments? I thought it was a year of treatments. And then this is kind of how my skin looks. Actually, it's better now, but obviously certain angles, my skin's going to look worse. I had a pimple there. And then 
Yeah, like you can still see the scarring sometimes and then other angles it'll look so bad. But in good lighting, I mean, my skin looks really awesome. I just have like these weird pimple things under my skin that drive me insane. And that's what I'm trying to get rid of now. Just put the camera really close to your face. Oh, right now I'm breaking out, so I have lots of pimples. It's definitely a process. I think the sticker thing, like I mentioned, like just putting these stickers on your face after the procedure, I think it helps a lot. I think the, the hardest thing for me was after you get it and when you have the swelling and then the swelling goes down and you just feel so crappy. At least I did. I felt so crappy. I'm all clean. Oh man, my skin already feels so good. I'm putting on this mask now. So this is a purple mask. It's a clay mask. Biggest problem area now is like these, I have these little bumps under my skin from like, because when my acne was really bad, I would get a pimple, but it would never submerge from my skin. So it would kind of just sit there underneath my skin and they would just be there forever, just for years. I would just get like a pimple under my skin. And so I have like all of like just, it's just right here on these sides, but I would have tons of little spots under my skin that were like pimples that never submerged. So I'm getting like a, a needle treatment right now, like micro needling to basically kind of pokes into that layer and it helps the, that stuff kind of emerge and come out. So far it's been working really well. I've only had it twice though, but I'm excited to see the results from keeping up with it. I've only had it twice, but it's definitely helping bringing that stuff out. Cause what my dermatologist in Korea did about that, um, I don't think she had the same because not every clinic has the same stuff, you know, but in uh, what she was doing is she was injecting me with uh, steroids into those spots and steroids will help um, scars actually. S injecting steroids into scars will minimize them, but I think because they're not scars, they didn't go away and that's why this current treatment's kind of just drawing them out and it's really helpful. So after that, they should come out, hopefully. My goal is to keep getting these treatments and hopefully just pull out all of those little bumps and then I wanna do lasers again. I'm gonna put on this face thing. I don't think I'll put it on for very long though. This one, like I said, is a really helpful one for pimples. I don't think I'll put it over my entire face. I think I'll put it here where my pimples are the worst and then probably on my nose. It's red like blood. <laughs> It is like the worst color. I think that's really the only spot. Maybe I should do more on this side. This is an acid peel for your skin. If you leave it on too long, you can really hurt your skin because it is an acid. So you got to be careful, but I'll leave it on for a few minutes and then it's not blood. This is not blood at all. It's an acid. It's this one right here. It is AHA 30%, BHA 2% acid peeling solution. I am back. Man, my skin feels so good. I'm gonna do some, let's put on some good stuff. Let's put on some like hydrating stuff after I just did so much to my skin. Actually, no, hold on. Let's do the mask one more time because this mask is just helpful. <laughs> I'm gonna use this mask one more time. But yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out while I did all my skincare. And I will be streaming tomorrow, so hopefully I'll see you then. And yeah, thank you again. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys for hanging out with me when I have makeup on, when I have makeup off, when I feel more confident, when I feel crappy. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. I hope you have a nice weekend if I don't see you. Goodbye.